cross erected above the world, cross of our Savior King. O cross erected above the world, cross of our Savior King, found from which cast the waters, straight from the wound in his side, filling our lives with his gift of grace, cross of our Savior King. Cross erected above the world, cross of our Savior King. During this Mass, let us pray for the happy repose of the souls of Pascal Lobo, Father Edwin de Sousa, and for the intentions of Leela Bertini. So also today is a birthday celebration of three of our brethren, Father Prasad, our dear provincial, Father Cyril Norona, and Brother Nathaniel. Let us, during this Mass, lift up before the Lord the intentions of these brothers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may begin with holy fasting, this campaign of Christian service, so that as we take up battle against spiritual evil, we may be armed with the weapon of self-restraint. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Joel. Yet even now, declares the Lord, return to me with all your heart with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning, and rend your hearts and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love, and he relents over disaster. Who knows whether he will not turn and relent and leave a blessing behind him, a grain offspring and a drink of a grain offering and a drink offering for the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, consecrate a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the people, consecrate the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children, even nursing infants. Let the bridegroom leave his room and the bride her chamber. Between the vestibule and the altar, let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep and say, Spare your people, O Lord, and make not your heritage a reproach, a byword among the nations. Why should they say among the peoples, Where is their God? Then the Lord became jealous for his land and had pity on his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Have mercy, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your merciful love, according to your great compassion. Blot out my transgressions. Wash me completely from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Have, have mercy, mercy, O God, God for, for we, we have sinned. sinned. My transgressions, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. 
against you you alone have i sinned what is evil in your sight i have done have, have mercy, mercy o lord for we have sinned create a pure heart for me o god renew a steadfast spirit within me do not cast me away from your presence take not your holy spirit from me have, have mercy, mercy o god for we have sinned restore in me the joy of your salvation sustain in me a willing spirit o lord open my lips and my mouth shall proclaim your praise have mercy o lord for we have sinned A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, we are ambassadors for Christ, God making his appeal through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake he made him to be sin who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Working together with him, then we appeal to you not to receive the grace of God in vain. For he says, In a favorable time I listened to you, and in a day of salvation I have helped you. Behold, now is the favorable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today you would listen to his voice, harden not your hearts. With you and with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of practicing your righteousness before other people in order to be seen by them, for then you will have no reward from your Father who is in heaven. Thus, when you give to the needy, sound no trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may be praised by others. Truly I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret. And your father who sees in secret will reward you. And when you pray, you must not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners that they may be seen by others. Truly I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your father who is in secret. And your father who sees in secret will reward you. And when you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces that their fasting may be seen by others. Truly I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, that your fasting may not be seen by others, but by your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, o Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, we are entering into a new season, the season of Lent, a time of grace. Christian spirituality can be seen 
in the framework of goal means relationship we have a goal as christians with our baptism we are oriented towards this goal and in this goal all of us are united it is the same goal for you and for me and what is this goal to reach the presence of god to know him and love him this is the goal of all of us all christians everyone in fact to be in the presence of god to know him and to love him the church during the liturgical year keeping this goal of all the faithful in mind teaches us the means to reach this goal and these means are both general and particular the general means are the sacraments that we celebrate the grace that comes from the sacraments which is done daily in the celebration of the eucharist in our penance in baptism and all the sacraments that we celebrate this also happens when we engage ourselves in celebrating and imitating the lives of the saints they pray for us they become a means for our salvation leading us to this presence of god it is also done through living a virtuous life a life in accordance with uh, justice charity love of the brethren love of the world it is also done through living a life in accordance with the gospel the teaching of jesus these are general means given to all of us and they are all in particular certain seasons are set aside in order to benefit more from these spiritual exercises this goal oriented exercises and we are entering into one of such particular um, spiritual exercises or means for our goal to reach the presence of god this season of lent in this season we intensify our determination and continue in that journey that journey which would take us along with the journey of jesus participating in his passion and death so that the salvation that he won for us becomes our own and that is the means to reach the presence of god how is it done in practical life during the season of lent by integrating the four uh, essential elements that we associate with this season of lent acts of charity penance prayer and fasting these are not done in separation but an integrated way our charity must be animated by our spirit of self denial and then fasting and prayer so a prayerful fasting a prayerful penance a prayerful act of charity these would be the integrated way this would be the integrated way we exercise or we observe this lenten season it is not enough for us to begin in a solemn way with this ash wednesday uh, putting ashes on our head it is more important to sustain this and how do we know we are 
profiting from these spiritual exercises there is a measure that measure is our life of reconciliation our reconciliation with the self with the other and god this is what which would manifest whether we are <clears throat> actually progressing in these spiritual exercises so that our journey towards the goal being in the presence of god to know him and to love him these are taking place so it is not not enough to begin in a solemn way but to sustain this how do we do a daily examination of our progress how much progress am i making in this act of reconciliation with myself the broken areas of my life do i identify and then the broken relationship that i have with the other maybe the people at home my brothers sisters the community or the neighbor now what are the ways and means now we do know this uh since came into this world because of disobedience pride and by the time it reached uh, cain and abel became hatred and murder and at the time of noah multiplied in number the 10 commandments really tell us how they are summarized we need to get a salvation from this we need to receive forgiveness we need to get that reconciliation and for for this we need to make our effort it is certainly not a merit of any of us it is in and through the merit of the death and passion of jesus and lent is that season which would really make us travel through the life especially that passion and death of christ so that this salvation would be ours and we have that sure assurance that we would be in the presence of god what is important for us is to reconcile reconcile with oneself reconcile with the other our neighbors and with god we have broken our relationships it is a time to mend it it is a time to examine and see and make that steady gradual progress never turning back then it would be a regress and it can happen we may miss the way to the presence of god if we are actually interested and desire within ourselves that presence of god then we must make these means particularly this season of uh, lent to grow in that grace to benefit from our own spiritual exercises the prayer that we do the fasting that we undertake the penitential practices and acts of charity they are done in that spirit of reconciliation with the, with the self with god and with one another so today as we begin this season of lent let us ask our lord for this grace that the penitential and charitable prayerful act that we begin would be sustained by us we never give up on this rather we make steady and sustained progress so that our goal may be reached that we may be in the presence of god we may be knowing and loving god that salvation christ won would become 
a reality in our life. Let us pray for this grace. Dear brethren, let us humbly ask God, our Father, that he be pleased to bless with the abundance of his grace these ashes which we will put on our heads in penitence. O God, who desire not the death of sinners, but their conversion, mercifully hear our prayers, and in your kindness be pleased to bless these ashes, which we intend to receive upon our heads, that we who acknowledge we are but ashes and shall return to dust, may through the steadfast observance of Lent gain pardon for sins and newness of life after the likeness of your risen Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, today we begin a new journey in our spiritual life. Every journey has a means and a goal. The goal of our journey is to encounter the risen Lord, and the means to arrive there is through self-denial and conversion. Let us pray for the necessary graces to make our spiritual journey successful and fruitful, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the Pope, the bishops, the clergy, and the religious, that as leaders in the church, may they exhort the people to use the holy season of Lent for their spiritual growth, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For all those involved in church social services, that the poor, the sick, the homeless, and the unemployed may benefit from their charitable works, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all believers in Christ, that they may bear witness to Christ who has called them and may remain faithful to their vocation, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the Catholic faithful, that they may receive divine assistance to put into effect the Lenten practices of prayer, fasting, and almsgiving, so that they may worthily celebrate Easter, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. 
for all of us present in this Eucharistic assembly, that enlightened by the word of God, we may cultivate in us the spirit of repentance and conversion. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God our Father, we thank you for giving us this time of repentance and conversion. Sinful as we are, we need to be reconciled to you and prove ourselves worthy of your love and care. Grant us the grace that this holy season of Lent may become a time for our spiritual renewal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bread and wine we bring to you, Lord, work of a human hand, soon to become your body and blood, Jesus yourself. May all who share this meal divine be Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice of mine and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the good of all his holy church. As we solemnly offer this annual sacrifice for the beginning of Lent, we entreat you, O Lord, that through the works of penance and charity, we may turn away from harmful pleasures and cleansed from our sins may become worthy to celebrate devoutly the passion of your son who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal feasts with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall <coughs> so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord 
Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Philip Neri, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have a mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Saint Joseph, who has passed with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit you to be joyous to eternal life. And may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name, thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. He who ponders the law of the Lord day and night will yield fruit in due season. Let us pray. Pour out a spirit of compunction, O Lord God, on those who bow before your majesty, and by your mercy they may merit the rewards you promise to those who do penance. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. When the sun has set